everyone, and welcome back to Gwim's Sly Adventures. We are quite actually quite a way through. I think this is the last setup mission we need to do before the big elaborate heist to steal the magical clockwork lanterns. Alright, so let's go. Climb up this awfully disgusting looking sewer pipe. Which is all in a day's work for the master thief, who probably has no, absolutely no sense of smell. Just like myself. No shit, he's a fat ass. Of course he can't fit in the drain pipe. And you're too much of a nerd, so you'd probably end up getting asthma attacks and dying. So, hmm. Oh well. Yeah, break tables. So you want me to crawl on the find it? That's the idea. All right. Well, I am going to do as you asked, Bentley, because I'm going to be a passive aggressive master thief today. But first, I'm going to kill you. And I will investigate under the table. Nothing under the table. Why would the guards put something under the table? It makes no legitimate sense. I mean, come on. You're gonna have to, every time you need to open the vault code, you're gonna have to, you know, crawl under the table. I mean, it does seem a bit unintuitive, guys. Say, Lobby. All right. Ah. Well, another week. Another chance to play my favorite game of all time. Um, I would actually know one of my favorite games of all time. Favorite game of all time is kind of a hard one to pin down because it all, especially with me, it depends on my mood and what I want to play. But I'd definitely say this would be on that list, like um, the definitive list for it. So we will see. All right. Master thief. Dun, 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 dun. Aha! Money! Money, money, money. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, yeah, we need all the food bottles to open this safe, do we not? Yeah. Oh, die. Alright. As, as I was saying, another week, another chance to play Sly, which I actually quite like this, because it's kind of like my... I do actually like playing all, making videos playing all my games, but it's kind of like... You know, that special weekly treat. Come back after a long day at work, grab a beer, and then sit down and make a video in my favorite game. So, it's always a highlight. Oh, stop talking to yourself in third person, Murray. It's just depressing. Hack both of them, yeah, yeah. Okay, wooden? Ah, we're, we're the muscle. Into their servers, they'll be on. You guys need to work I together bet there's a hacker out there who, that. you know, know how to deactivate Three automatic pounds, alarms. The Murray knows no fear. Ah, sad. No, no fear. Okay, I'm in. Oh, Robute Gilliman in quotes. Alright, then. Oh, forgot you have to play the Murray for a second. Which is good, because he two hit kills everything, and you have Sly backing you up. Oh, right, you have to defend Bentley. God. I don't want to defend Bentley. Bentley's awful. Uh, it, it is actually funny. I, I, no, I will quote on it now. But it gets really amusing. Because in, in this one, he's the hacking, RC, and uh, explosive specialist, right? But in Sly 3, when you expand the Cooper gang, spoiler alert, if you want a spoiler. Shit. If you want a spoiler free. You know, um, one through of the slide games, then I'm sure there's someone out there far nicer about it than me. Um, but when they end up expanding the Cooper Gang in Slide 3, uh, Bentley ends up becoming completely worthless because his role as explosive specialist is replaced by Pan Panda King, who has a rocket launcher strapped to his back and is superior in every single way ex in demolition skills to Bentley. His RC combat skill um, gets replaced by that stupid bloody mouse you pick up from Holland. And his um, so all he's there really there for in Cypher is hacking, which is just stupid. No, no. So why are you here, Bentley? Why are you here? Why are any of us here? Why is this guard here? Why is Sly here? Are we all just cogs intertwined in the universe? 
is smaller pieces of a much larger puzzle we are failing to see. Ah, friggin' Bentley, you're such a weak piece of shit. You, you interrupted my philosophical debate. Okay, I'm in. Hacking the level six barrier. Uh, oh well. Maybe, maybe do I will find something else to be philosophical about. I do love how one of his attacks is just literally just crushing them with his back. It is pretty cool. But I must admit, I do like Murray, and I, though I do absolutely hate... I haven't talked about it in this series because I, I'm trying to... I'm playing the if I ignore it, it will go away gambit, which won't work. But I absolutely despise the art design for Bentley and Murray in the Sly Cooper movie that they're going to do that doesn't need to be done and should not be made under any circumstances because making a crappy straight to DVD movie about a really awesome game only diminishes the value and the inherent qualities of the game itself movie um their art design is their character design is awful size is good um they do a lot to make him more look like a raccoon which you know I'm not against he has, has, does have a bit more fur than he used to, but, you know, it's alright. Oh, no. Uh, I swear all you have to do is... I can't even take the fight to them. I'm forced to just stand by and defend them or else the guards just slip between my fists and just end up hitting him. Ugh, being really you're useless. But yes, the Sly Cooper movie, just along, exactly the same as the Ratchet and Clank movie, not need to be made, should not exist, and hopefully will never exist under any circumstances ever, ever, ever. So oh well, with that digress, let's stop complaining and actually have some fun playing the game, because I noticed in the last few parts I've been, I've been trying to find faults and little glitches and you know, negative things against the game, when I, realistically, I shouldn't be. I'm not a reviewer. Um, I shouldn't have to look for faults. I should judge it by its own personal merits and my own experience of the game. Because I judge games on one inherent quality. Are they fun? And do the not fun features... Well, is it fun is the thing. Um, if there are features on it that end up ruining the fun experience for me, then that's bad, but otherwise it's good. So, is it fun is the only qualifier that you will see me um, uphold in this in all of my videos. Sorry, I was actually distracted because I know like one hit and, and Bentley's going to bloody die again. No. Alright. But yeah, those movies should not exist. I'm sorry. Video game movies really work and making video game movies with classic characters like this is just bad. Please do not do it. Alright, with that being said, let's have some fun. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Hell yeah. Oh, oh are we going to get one of the classic... Oh, classic things. I love how it looks like if you've got a shitty, like, slide projector. You've just set up. Hippo drop. Oh, we get to blow up a bridge? That is so cool. Incidentally, that's one of my little things. Like, have you, have you ever had a wish list of shit you want to do, but you know you never will? Hello, Miss Fox. Um, on my list is blowing up a bridge. I don't know why, but I, I would love to blow up a bridge. It's just one of those things, like, you know, controlled demolition of a building. Now that would be cool. But blowing up a bridge, that would be awesome. Hey, let me know in the comments what your one favourite thing you'd like to do in that regard is. Because mine's blowing up a bridge, and then I know a friend of mine who said that he would love to... Uh, take a wrecking ball to an apartment block. Um, so let me know what your one little bit of, you know, mindless destruction would be if you were able to do it. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's Bentley. All right. Come along, Bentley. Worthless turtle. Let's go blow up a bridge. Do 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 do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill him. It's going to make him go to sleep. And then his boss will charge him with dereliction of duty because he fell asleep on the job. And he'll end up being fired. He'll run out of money 
and you'll be forced to take a crappy supermarket off or office job. Which I think is ruining his life and the life of his family way more than if I just killed him. So you gotta think of these little things. Alright. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You Thank still you. think you can demolish something that large? It's true. It doesn't take an engineer to, an engineer to figure out how to bridge. blow up. It kinda does. I mean, if I knew how to blow up a bridge, you know, I wouldn't be going out and buying up a bridge or anything, you know, right off the bat, would I? Okay, cool. Bring it all crashing down. I oh, incidentally, yeah, it was kind of one of those funny little things. I was in the Coromandel. Uh, if you're a New Zealander, you'll know where that is. If not, I would say it's um, a gold mining area. It's an old gold mining town sort of area. But as I was saying, um, I was in the Coromandel and I uncovered a, I found some old mine workings. I love how unsturdy this bridge is that immediately starts debris coming down the second you start blowing up the things, but I digress. Um, and I found old um, mine, sh mine workings and it was so cool because I, when I was 11, I found a old TNT box, like dynamite box, and I was like, oh wow, I could get, grab some of my own dynamite. There was none in it, but that was just my, ouch, ooh, my little, um, oh, I'm just failing today, aren't I? My little mine working, and there was this old bridge there, like it was through a swamp, in the middle of nowhere. Um, it was obviously, it was an old railway bridge, oh, I keep doing that. And I was just thinking, that would be the perfect bridge to blow up, because it's in the middle of nowhere. Right, there's no one around, so, you know, it's not, it's in a swamp, surplus to requirements. If you wanted to blow up a bridge, that would be the perfect one to do. Just, you know, me, not like I'd casually think about these things, you know, during my day, but, you know, it's just a fun little thing. So how's he going to get to the van if he's blown up the bridge? Hmm. Maybe it's just my opinion. Oh yeah. Take all the men. So you're gonna take all the guards away from? Yeah. No matter. It's fun. Check. It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Look at him sitting in his throne. It's so funny. Also, I'm not a fan of that dress, to be honest. Uh, yeah, six, or maybe it's just the graphics. Like, it doesn't do it justice. Oh well. Just waiting for the perfect moment. <laughs> perfect moment. Oh, Sly is such a smooth, sweet little asshole, isn't he? Oh, yay, more slow time event button mashing. No, fun now, be quiet. Stop being cynical. I also do like it. In the background, it actually does, you know, you can actually see his progress, which gives you an idea of, um, of how long you have to um, carry on the thing without it being a bloody progress bar, which would just ruin the experience. See, it's kind of a natural progression little thing. I often deal with Bruce while on the job. Wow, you were such an asshole, so I... <laughs> oh, no, I would say he's an asshole. He's a suave. Or a ponce. One of those two. Oh. Slow time event button mashing. Also, there's no one else on the dance floor. Which I find kind of interesting. Are we just that, you know, important? Ooh. Also, one of the... Just a little thing. I think I mentioned this before. I do like, and this is not the only game to do it, I was watching Ruby last night, because I bought the Season 1 and 2 on Blu-ray, and every character that's not important to the story, like, every character that's not an actual character, is that of just a black silhouette like that, which, oh shit, uh, fuck, I don't, ah, oh, damn it, I was paying attention, I wasn't paying attention, there we go. Um, it's just a black silhouette, which I like, because it gives the idea of it, the world being inhabited, without cluttering it up with too many character models. Maybe it's just a path on people who really don't have to, you know, make 50 billion random character models, but, you know, it's just my, just my little idea behind it. 
I like it. Also, Rayjan looks so like, uh, like mindlessly zoned out. Oh, hooray! And we only made one mistake. Tell me, stranger, what's your name? <laughs> Why ruin the moment? Well, I I don't, don't understand. Because you. <laughs> What? How? How? Who could have? Could... What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he is such a suave asshole, Sly Cooper. Also, I'm imagining she's. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Clockwork wings. I'm just imagining her pulling out her pistol and just going to town, just arresting everyone and everything. Everyone going into a massive panic. As they're desperately trying to um, figure out what's going on. Ooh, eat explosive. Just tactical carpet bombing. Tactical carpet bombing. Also, how many bombs does this thing hold? Uh, uh huh. It's like aerial focused carpet bombing. Air support inbound, Commander. Air support inbound. Explosion. Though I've always hated the floaty controls. Like, a real RC chopper would be able to hover, albeit with difficulty, because RC choppers I've heard are actually notoriously difficult to... Wow, that guy didn't hit me once. Um, notoriously difficult to keep hovering, but I'm letting go of all the buttons, right? And I just keep flying. It's kind of interesting. Well, I have not gotten all the blue bottles on this mission yet. That is very lazy. Well, I won't make a video in it, but I might, after we finish recording, um, I might actually go out of my way and um, grab all of them. Alright, punch it. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome, well, we've got two missions down. And only a few more to go. Wings, <laughs> and started making arrests Just left pulling out a pistol and a badge. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his Yeah, I'd be pretty party. angry if I had to He's leave my own party. Somewhere deep in the jungle. Like that. So I do like that temple. The gang and I took cool. a break and headed for Bali. India. It took some doing, oh, they did but leave those in. Because I was worried. I, I had a Indian feeling for some reason that when they do these, you know, end of um, episode cutscene type things, um, I thought they were going to edit them out when I got the Sly Trilogy from when compared to Sly 2. I thought it was just one of those little thing features that they would have deemed unnecessary. That is a scary looking target face. I don't want to look at that. That's better. Look. Surly demon. Surly demon. Surly demon. Surly. Alright, I'll shut up now. Alright, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, and I will join you again in part three. We're going to carry on with more adventures in a brand new destination. For all new adventures. Fun, fun, fun. See you all next week.